Dima, jesteś już dwa tygodnie w Polsce. Jak się tutaj czujesz i jak również się czujesz na boiskach plus ligi po powrocie na polskie parkiety? Um, I feel amazing. I feel like home. I feel like I came back home. No, first of all, I have to say thank you to all the people of Poland. Of course, uh, they give very, very big support in these hard times. Uh, so it feels like home here. And I would like to thank the whole team, every uh, everyone who's involved in this team, because they made me feel really to come back uh, to a team where I had a, a history. And uh, I feel very, very good and amazing here. W Polsce jest także twoja rodzina. Gdy graliśmy mecz z Lukiem Lublin, miałeś okazję spotkać się w Lublinie z, z tą częścią rodziny, która właśnie z Ukrainy uciekła do Lublina. Jesteś też w kontakcie z, ze swoją rodziną. Starasz się im pomagać na tyle, na ile możesz? Yes, of course. Uh, we're always in touch. We stay in touch since the first days of what, what happened. And, uh, They were one of the first ones who had a chance to move away fast out. Uh, they had to leave their husbands. So there were only grandmas, mothers and daughters. So there were five, five of them of my relatives close. Uh, and uh, it was some kind of fate that, that I came here. Then uh, we had a game in Lublin. They were in Lublin. Nobody, nothing was planned. <laughs> it was just fate. And uh, we met, of course. And, uh, It was amazing and very hard to see this, to speak about everything. And it's just nice to see that they're safe. Jak w twoim przypadku wyglądał wyjazd z Rosji do Estonii? Nie obawiałeś się jakichś problemów na granicy? Uh, I think I made the decision to go very fast, although it was after one week since uh, uh, the war started. So. Uh, Yes, I was scared that I could have problems and uh, I spoke to my pre previous team and uh, basically what they said is that you can go and uh, but nobody wants to be responsible. You are responsible for your actions. We allow you to go. Just go. And um, I said thank you and uh, I left the country. Uh, was very stressful because it was a long border and uh, we were crossing by legs and lots of questions. And I still don't believe in that in our day and age, it feels like almost like we're back 50, 60, 70 years ago. Wczoraj w Ergo Arenie prowadziłeś zajęcia dla dzieci, które przyjechały z Ukrainy, są w Gdańsku. Myślisz, że takie zajęcia sportowe dla tych dzieci, one są bardzo pomocne, żeby te dzieciaki choć na chwilę zapomniały o tym, co ich spotkało, przed czym uciekają? Of course, yeah. It was very nice to, to see happy faces. Although the situation and uh, is very hard and sad, uh, still to see children running, laughing and sc screaming, and it was amazing. And uh, it's amazing that uh, the club is doing this, helping and uh, supporting in every way how how they can. And even this little trainings, w what they organize, it's still support and help. And uh, I was very honored that I could uh, come, speak with them, laugh with them, and share some moments with them. Niedzielny mecz z Olsztynem będzie naszym pierwszym meczem od momentu ataku Rosji na Ukrainę, meczem, który rozgrywamy w Ergo Arenie, więc oczywiście będą zbiórki rzeczy dla osób z Ukrainy, będą darmowe bilety dla obywateli Ukrainy. Myślisz, że taka pomoc jest bardzo istotna, a może też wiesz o czymś, co, co byłoby jeszcze bardziej pomocne dla osób, które przyjeżdżają tutaj z Ukrainy. Te osoby oczywiście przyjeżdżają cały czas, więc te potrzeby też są rosnące. As I speak and hear and see, I think Poland gives the biggest support ever. And what this club is doing uh, is incredible. I think this is uh, enough. Even a little gesture of hand is already enough, but uh, already giving uh, away stuff and inviting for games, supporting, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's of course very heartwarming and uh, It's a big honor for me to continue to play volleyball here where I myself get so much support for my family, for my people, because uh, even I, though I did not live in Ukraine for uh, my, my, my life, I was born in Kiev. I still, of course, I feel, you know, a part of it and uh, that it's being attacked 
here um, it's the biggest support I could imagine. So it's a big honor to come to the court to play and uh, it's like a celebration of uh, strength of people that uh, people are all together. They are against evil. Przechodząc już do kwestii sportowych, przed treflą Gdańsk najważniejsza część rundy zasadniczej, trzy ostatnie mecze. Jesteście bardzo mocno zmotywowani jako zespół? Of course, uh, I want to do the best what I can for this team, because they gave me an open door, they invited me, took me home. So the least what I could do is uh, the show my best per performance. So I'm practicing with all the guys. Everybody is very positive, uh, excited, happy to continue to show the result for the next games. We all know it's important, of course. Uh, it's been a long se season for everybody and uh, I'm just here right, right now. I will try to do everything what I can. If it will happen, great. If not, uh, you know, It just goes on, but uh, of course we will do everything what's in our hands to fight for for the playoff. W niedzielę zagrasz pierwszy raz przed gdańską publicznością po pięciu latach. Jakie są twoje wspomnienia z gry w Gdańsku w sezonie 2016-2017? It's a very war warming feelings, especially in Ergo Arena. It's I've traveled a lot of thanks to volleyball, a lot of cities, a lot of countries and halls, and this is my fav favorite hall. It's the most Beautiful. Some would say it's too big, but somehow it's still very cozy. So it's amazing. It's a big honor just to play in this arena, and uh, people are so nice here. Also, it's uh, it's just a pleasure really to play volleyball here.